The Ataturk Revolution that changed Turkey forever was imposed from above. It was not a revolution from below. All these reforms like women's rights, changing the script from the Arabic script to the Western script, and the changing in the way people dressed, the changes in education, the imposition of civil law over religious law, would have been rejected by the Turkish people if there had been a referendum or a plebiscite. So Ataturk decreed all of these reforms from the top down. In that way, he was able to push Turkish society ahead much further than he would have had he acted in a more careful, uh, deliberative way. On the other hand, this caused great shocks in Turkish society. And it also put Turkey on a kind of an authoritarian path. You could argue that the reforms that he imposed were liberating and in a larger sense democratic because they were trying to create a civil body politic. On the other hand, you could also argue that they were dictatorial. And he was a dictator in, uh, in large measure. So for different reasons, his reforms were controversial when he decreed them, and his image has been controversial ever since. Nonetheless, uh, I think the image of Ataturk in Turkey today, as it has been since, ever since his death, uh, is very positive. Uh, there's a deep emotional attachment to Ataturk for the very simple reason that if there hadn't been Ataturk, there would not today be the Republic of Turkey.